Hello and welcome to this Prospect 365 CRM video where today we're going to take a very quick look at how we can create an email from within the CRM. Now we're on a uh, contact record here for Michelle Jewelry and anywhere that you see this little icon here the uh, email icon we've got it there and we've also got it on the right hand side there for communication whenever you click on that it's going to open up our send email. Now it's already defaulted and it's contained Michelle Jewelry's email address because that's the contact record we're sending it to. You can also uh, CC and BCC people in. We can also select a template. So uh, I just made a very basic one earlier just called email template. And if we pop that in, we've got a subject of your recent contact. Uh, got good morning, uh, Ms. Jury. Thank you for getting in touch recently. Thank you, support user. And that's because I'm currently logged in as the support user. So it's using search and replace fields there um, to automatically populate some text. And you can still uh, free format. Um, and just type whatever it is that we uh, we need. So we will be in touch soon regarding your order. You know, you can um, you know type in whatever you want. We've got bold, italic, uh, bullet points, etc., etc. Now you could just click send, and that will send that off to uh, Michelle. However, there is a couple of extra things that we can do here as well. You'll notice we've got save document here is defaulted to uh, being on, which means that once this email is sent, it's gonna be saved and stored back into the CRM system. We also have an option here to send copy to me, uh, me being the individual that's logged into the CRM, um, the user of the system. So you'll receive a copy into your inbox. We can also add attachments. Now we've got the uh, drag files here, so you can just drag and drop um, attachments that you want in there exactly the same as we've seen in a, there's another video that we've done uh, where you can just drop documents in and store them against a, a, a record but we've also got the add attachments button so this opens up our advanced attachments we've got the my computer option you can click browse that will just open up a file explorer and you can just select whichever document it is that you want to attach we also have our existing documents so any documents which have either been added or created underneath this contact can be added so we can see here i've got some blank documents that I've added previously so I can just choose to attach that as a PDF click attach so you get your little loading bar down the bottom and that has now added one attachment of blank mark one PDF file we also have our new documents so any template documents that you made you can then create and attach them from within there and if we go to the attachments list it just shows you attachments which are currently um, part of this email so we've got that blank pdf which I added and if you want you can remove it you can download it etc so if we just click close on there it takes us back to our email we've got our attachments on there again we've got the little x there if I did want to remove that and just by pressing send that's going to get that email sent out to the customer it's going to send a copy to me it's going to store a uh, copy back into the CRM and you can see up at the top there email sent success and that has then sent that out to the customer we did all of that underneath the contact record but you can also do it against a lead or a problem um, and the email address that it will use will be whichever contact that lead or problem is created underneath